The U.S. Education System A Typical Day in High School In the U.S., a typical day of high school starts at about 7.30 a.m. and ends around 3 p.m. Monday to Friday. The day is divided into different periods for individual classes, break times, and lunch. The standard curriculum consists of universal studies as well as electives, depending on what the school in question offers. Subjects and Extracurriculars Some standard curriculum subject subjects include English, which is also called Language Arts, History, also called Social Studies, Math, which can include any form of math, such as Algebra, Trigonometry, Multiplication, etc., Sciences, which is an umbrella term for the various sciences such as biology and chemistry, art, which can be a study of music or art, performing an art, or creating art, as well as physical education, which is known more commonly in the U.S. as P.E. Electives. Electives are classes outside the required curriculum that the student gets to choose. Some popular ones are computer programming, journalism, business management, debate, or shop class, and many more. Extracurriculars. An extracurricular activity is an activity performed by students that falls outside the realm of the normal curriculum of school, college, or university education. Extracurricular classes and activities are also offered. These can include school and community activities, work like internships or babysitting, and volunteering. Proof of having been involved in an EAC can be beneficial to students seeking scholarships. A scholarship is a grant or payment made to support a student's education, awarded on the basis of academic achievement. Prom. Prom is a ball or formal dance at a school or college that is usually held at the end of the academic year for students who are in their final year. The average prom experience costs between $175 to $2,100 U.S. and varies depending on location. This includes, but is not limited to, the tickets, a limo, dresses, tuxedos, dinner, and flowers. The tradition of the corsage has its root in the French term bouquet de corsage, which means bouquet on the bosom. Promposals, or asking someone to prom, is acceptable for both boys and girls, though it is traditionally the boy who asks first. Here we can see a limo behind prosing prom goers, matching corsages beneath that, a typical promposal and an extreme promposal. SATs and ACTs. The SAT takes three hours and has an optional 50-minute essay. It uses a multiple choice, pencil and paper approach created and administered by the College Board. There are two SAT sections, math and evidence-based reading and writing. The SAT is scored on a 200 to 800 point scale, and your score is the sum of your section scores. The ACT lasts 2 hours and 55 minutes, with an optional 40 minute writing test. It uses a multiple choice, pencil and paper approach created and administered by ACT Incorporated. There are four ACT sections, English, Reading, math, and science. The ACT is scored on a 1 to 36 point scale. The composite ACT score is the average of the four scores. Students receive a separate score on the writing test if they choose to take it. Here is a visual guide between the SAT versus the ACT. Next, graduation. Graduation is a ceremony in which students graduate 
and are awarded a diploma or academic degree while being recognized on a stage one at a time. The traditional black gown and cap symbolize recognition and achievement. After the Civil War in America, academic regalia became reserved only for graduations. Here we see a graduate receiving a diploma, a typical cap, gown, and tassel, and a high school diploma. Next, college life. College life is much less structured than high school. Freshmen, or first years, typically live in dormitories offered by the school while others rent apartments alone or with other students. The average college student works at least one part-time job in order to help pay for college. And students set their own schedule and manage their own time. The campus. College campuses generally have similar buildings and facilities to other schools, with some being dedicated to specific areas of study. These can include libraries, lecture halls, residence halls, student centers, cafeterias or canteens, health-focused areas or gyms, and parks or outdoor classrooms. Next, school loans. Student loans are sums of money people borrow for their education from either the government or a private lender and pay back over time, almost always with interest. Loans are considered part of the standard financial aid offered by universities. A federal student loan is generally fixed at a 6% interest rate and to be paid off for 25 years. Three facts about student loan debt. One, student loan debt in the United States totals $1.68 trillion and grows over six times faster than the nation's economy. Two, 44.7 million student borrowers are in debt by an average of $37,584 each. And three, the 42.3 million Americans with federal student loan debt each owe an average of $36,520 for their federal loans. Fraternities and sororities, also known as Greek Letter Organizations, or GLOs. GLOs are social organizations at colleges and universities and are very prominent in the United States and Canada. The name of a GLO is comprised of any on any of three letters from the Greek alphabet. GLOs take part in philanthropic activities, host parties, train their members in social etiquette, and create networking opportunities. The five most common features of a GLO, with some exceptions, include secrecy, single-sex membership, a two-part selection process for new members, known as rushing, and pledging, ownership and occupancy of the property in which undergraduate members live, and the identification symbols that can include Greek letters, achievements, passwords, hand, side, hand signs, etc. Hazing, while almost universally prohibited by national fraternity organizations, still occurs at many GLOs today. Many chapters have been shut down to this very reason. Hazing is any action taken or situation created intentionally that causes embarrassment, harassment, or ridicule, and risks emotional and or physical harm to members of a group or team. Thank you guys for your attention, and I'll see you in the next one.